I mean, we won the game. <laughs> we won the game, but it sure as hell wasn't fucking great to watch. And don't tell me I'm all, oh, you just can't, you know, a win's a win. I understand a win's a win. Don't get me wrong. But that shit was just like, what the fuck was I watching? Deshaun Jackson tried to stay in the game. He caught one pass for five yards. Doug already said that. They're going to do more testing. They take they took him out of the game for precautionary reasons. Deshaun Jackson said he wasn't feeling right. He just wasn't feeling right. His body wasn't feeling right. So... There's a bye week. Hopefully by the Patriots game, he is back. Because God fucking God, God damn it, we need him back. We really do need him back. So the run game I love today. Honestly, we did all we could. Yeah, we got stuffed a few times. Well, that's because the play calling fucking sucks. And we and we make it so obvious we're running up the fucking middle. And all the Bears have to do is just clog up the middle. And that's it. I mean, they stopped the run. Um, Jordan Howard had a heck of a day. Made the Bears realize they made a huge mistake on giving him away for fucking peanuts. Six-round conditional pick. Miles Sanders was sprinkled in a few times here and there. Darren Sproles got a little bit, nothing much. I was happy about that, so I was good with that. Um, Miles Sanders, it was like third and 17. We're looking like crap, and then he runs 17, you know, over 17 yards. I was like, damn. I was like, that is fucking great. Miles Sanders, oh, my God. Miles Sanders and Jordan Howard could be the future. One two punch. Please extend please extend Jordan Howard because I'm ready to buy his fucking jersey. I am ready to buy his jersey right now. Defensively, that first half was amazing. Avery, that new defensive end we got from well, outside linebacker defensive end we got from the Cleveland Browns, fourth round pick, 2021. He blitzed and got his first sack today. Fletcher Cox looked great. Brandon Graham looked great. Derek Barnett looked great. And it kind of fell apart a little bit in the second half. But our offense was three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out. You know? Our offense was just like three and out, three and out. The whole fucking time. This offense looked like shit today. I mean, there there is no depth at receiver. Like, what the fuck are we... Mac Collins, why are you still on this fucking team? Every time we score a touchdown or, like, we get a first down, Mac Collins is always celebrating. I can't stand seeing him anymore. Number 16, I cannot stand seeing that fucking number. Can't I can't stand it anymore. Another fucking day with no catches. I can't fucking stand it. Alshon Jeffrey... He dropped two balls today. I don't know what's going on with him, but he needs to wake the fuck up. He seems like he's in his own world, like he's not excited. I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like he's more to himself. I don't know what's going on with Alshon Jeffrey. I could be wrong. I could be just reading it wrong, but Jeffrey Alshon Jeffrey dropped two balls today. So not Carson's fault on that. Carson Threw over Alshon Jeffrey once. Wide open. Alshon Jeffrey beat his man one-on-one. -on -one, and he threw it too far. Probably would have been a touchdown or close to it. Threw it, another ball to Darren Sproles over his head. Wide open. He beat the linebacker. He went up. And he could have probably got yards and then some. Maybe a touchdown. Probably not. But he would have had a shit ton of yards. So Carson made a few mistakes. But Carson, Mike Rowe needs to get the fuck out of here, bro. I I'm sorry, but sideline pass, sideline pass, tight end screen. I mean, I understand we use tight ends, but fucking Christ, Dallas Goddard, Zach Gertz, Dallas Goddard, fucking Nelson Aguilar. Got I understand we're not in the good terms with Nelson Aguilar, but I saw them trying to put Nelson Aguilar on the outside. They they tried, and then all of a sudden, Matt Collins, they take Matt Collins out of the game because he gets a big penalty on a big run from Jordan Howard, and that's brought back, and then they put J.J. Arcega Whiteside in. Arcega Whiteside in. Okay, they put him in the game, and they have him do some route, and they don't even look his way. I mean, what the fuck are we doing? What are we fucking doing? We don't have a slot receiver that... that we, our coaching staff and Carson Wentz does not trust Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar ran like a 4.4 4 in, uh, in fucking college when he got drafted. Like, where is that speed? Where the fuck is he at? Why is he... Why is every corner, like, on him all the time? Why is Nelson Aguilar not getting separation? 
I mean, it's, I, and Alshon Jeffrey's a possession receiver, so I'm not expecting him to get too much separation, but he did sometimes, and Carson Wentz fucked up and threw the ball a few times, and he fucked up on some throws. Fucking Leonard. Leonard, the defensive end for the Bears, he went up to Carson Wentz and grabbed him, and Wentz shrugged him off, and there was still nobody open. But we're doing this dink and duck, dink, Passes back and forth. Sideline pass. Sideline pass. I can't stand it. I know what plays they're running every time it happens. I know when they're passing it. I know when they're running it. That's how bad it is. I'm like, I know they're running. So when they're running, they run some stupid shit. They get one yard. And oh, they had some, you know, I'm not expecting every play to go perfect. But fucking Christ. I mean, it looks so, like, predictable. And you expect to go the rest of the season like this? You need to bring in... See, Doug Pearson calls the plays, but you need to bring in a guy, an offensive coordinator with years of experience that could put players in the right positions to fucking succeed in this offense. And it looks so fucking like... Carson in shotgun, never under center, always in fucking shotgun every time. It's either he's in shotgun with a running back next to him to fake the fucking ball, or he's in shotgun by himself. That That's really it. When is he under center? Maybe once in a blue fucking moon for, pl for play action pass. But other than that, I'm not impressed by this offense. Well, look what happened with Deshaun caught one ball for five yards. It was a fucking pass interference with a five yard. He caught a ball for five yards. And there was pass interference. That's how much a difference of speed guy makes. I cannot stand it. Zach Ertz had a touchdown. Jordan Howard was a beast today. He did. He ran. He was a tough SOB today getting that football. You know, and Miles Sanders had some good runs today. He didn't beat the whole defense like he did last week, but he's sprinkling himself into this, and, and it's really nice to see. I have no problem with our running backs. You know, we had some call. We had some holding calls, Kelsey. Uh, you know, we had some holding calls today, so, you know, it is what it is. But overall, offensive line didn't do a bad job. Carson Wentz got hit a few times. Andre Dillard got beat. A few times. Wasn't a bad day for Andre Dillard, but, you know, the bull rush kind of killed him a little bit. So, um, I don't even know what to really say. I mean, this, I'm not happy with it, period. We got to go face the Patriots. And you make a mistake, and look what happens. Trubisky in the second half. I knew that the Bears were going to come alive sooner or later. They they weren't going to they they were going off sides defensively and offensively. I mean, the second half they threw a fifty three yard pass, and there was nobody on him. Taylor Gabriel, nobody on him. I don't know what the fuck where that went at all. I don't. Seems like it was blown cover. Something happened because Jalen Mills and Malcolm were communicating and something happened on that play. It didn't look right. And Jalen Mills actually had a nice breakup on Allen Robinson, which was pretty cool. I mean, for a guy that hasn't played football in a year and makes a play like that, yeah, I know. He, put, he tried punching the ball out and he actually did. He made him pretty much drop it. So I was happy for that. But Mitch knows these corners suck. And they're like, oh, Mitch is great. Great pass by Mitch. Oh, he's looking really good right now. He's looking good because our corners aren't good, okay? Russell Douglas had a nice stop on Allen Robinson on third down. So guys were starting, you know, Avante Maddox did, the, you know, another stop on third down. You know, these co really are coming together. Hopefully, Craven LeBlanc comes back into the mix. And you know what? They got practice for two weeks or they're off for a week and they come back in another week. So a lot of rest they're getting for this for the rest of the season. Week 10 is the perfect or you know before that is the perfect time for a bye week. But this team offensive defensively defensively we can't be on the field too much. You know what? We can't go 3 and out and then you then we're, we're going to say our defense sucks because our offense is like 3 and out, 3 and out and then we're putting the ball from our own 10 15 yard line and they're already in fucking range. You know, it makes no sense, but it was just, I'm not even like ranting, ra I'm not even like raging over it, but I was like, that was piss poor offensive football. Like, the tight ends are like the main targets in our fucking offense. Like, that's how pathetic it is. I don't mind throwing to those guys, but Jesus Christ, like, we need to like go out. 
I don't know. A lot of people want Antonio Brown to come here, but my fucking God, it's like, it's not going to happen, of course, but I'm just saying, like, if Deshaun's not in this offense, man, we got nothing behind it. Like, like we're lucky we have two running backs that can run. We're lucky we have one, a top three offensive line in the league. We're lucky we have that because, honestly, if we didn't, this offense would be struggling even more. Obviously, we wouldn't be going anywhere. But I wasn't happy with it. I'm happy about the win, but I wasn't happy the way they fucking played. Like, what is with these Carson Wentz short five-yard passes? Like, he hikes the ball, and he looks like he's going to throw it deep or throw it that. Just throw I don't care about throwing it deep. Just throw it 20, 25 yards downfield. I mean, what the fuck are – what is Nell Snagler doing? What route do you have him running? Why? What is Matt Collins doing? Why is Matt Collins play, playing in red zone? Why don't you put J.J. in there? He's got size. They put J.J. in for one fucking play because Matt Collins held on a fucking Jordan Howard run. I mean, what the fuck is going on? I mean, Jesus Christ. It's just like... I feel like I was watching, like, I was watching the same plays over and over again. I mean, over and fucking over. And you expect our, our and then you're going to be like, oh, our defense couldn't hold, our defense couldn't hold them because our offense is getting off the field. Our defense couldn't even get rest for fucking five minutes. The Eagles literally ran the, they took control of the game. They did. They literally took control of the clock. At the half, Mitch only had like two yards passing. Seven yards passing and like two yard negative and rushing. I mean, it was bad. Then the Bears, the run game was working. Their pet, they started throwing deep downfield, and you know they passed to their their running back. You know nobody was on him. He was wide open. Um, I thought T.J. Edwards actually had a really good game. T.J. Edwards is a young linebacker, undrafted from Wisconsin, and he looked real fucking good. And he's filling in for Nigel Bradham. Really liked him. Avery had a sack, which was great. Josh Sweat had a sack. Derek Burnett forced that sack for Josh Sweat for the pressure. So Fletcher Cox, I mean, you name it, our defensive line is get. We're there. Our pressure is there, but our offense now needs to fucking. Hopefully, Deshaun is back and he's good because they they should have at least. If that was the case, they should have fucking put him on IR. Sign a fuck, give away a draft pick, bring a fucking speedster in here, and at least just do that because at this point, now it's like a week to week basis. Is how is how is Deshaun Jackson feeling every fucking week, and that's what we're gonna have to go through. So I'm happy with the win, but don't be happy how this offense played because they really they took this game. They could have took this game over more, but these play calls and. Micro putting these, what are you doing? What kind of game planning, Micro, are you doing to put your players in the right positions? Because Nelson Aguilar is draped on every fucking play. Every play. This is the Zach Ertz, Dallas Goddard show? No, it's not. Everybody needs to fucking be involved in this game, in these games. I'm sorry, but I can't stand just throwing a tight ends 10 yards down the field every fucking two seconds. Five-yard pass to the sideline. I can't stand it anymore. So, other than that, that's really it. I'm going to make this short. So, we won. We got two weeks off till we play the Patriots at 425. And that's it. So, I'll see you guys later. Chase went up. Fly, fly.